hello everyone welcome back to the channel in this video i am going to show you a tool which is tiny but packs a punch this tool tries to solve a problem which many people are trying to solve to see how much resources or especially the vram a ggwf version of a model consumes in this video we are going to run it locally and i will tell you all about it if you have never heard of ggwf if you don't know about machine learning jargon don't worry i am going to unpack it in a very very simple language and you should be able to easily run this tool locally and see how you can also take advantage of it by knowing the vram consumption requirements this is fahad mirza and i welcome you to the channel please like the video and subscribe and consider becoming a member as that helps a lot thank you for all the support let's go back to this tool and first try to understand the concepts because that is what is going to set the stage so as i said it is a single file web app that cracks open a ggwf model and tells you two things first what's inside which means key architecture bits and then how much memory you are likely going to need for a given context window and kv cache precision you point it at a remote url that supports http range like from hugging face i mean or you can you could drop in a local ggwf file and it does the rest entirely in your browser no servers no uploads it even spots sharded checkpoints like if you have multiple ggwf file for a single model and then it totals their size so you don't have to do the mental gymnastic GGUF itself is a compact binary file format used by GGML based runtimes like llama.cpp to store model weights plus rich metadata. Think of it as a portable container for quantized LLMs, efficient to read, stable across platforms, and descriptive enough to let tooling figure out shapes, layers, vocabulary, tokenizer bits, and runtime hints, everything which is inside the model architecture. Because GGUF encodes both tensors and metadata in a structured way, lightweight tools can quickly extract what they need without loading the full model into memory. I'm going to talk more about this GGUF and its header, but for now let's get cracking on it. I'm going to use this Ubuntu system. I have one GPU card in VDRTX A6000 with 48 GB of VRAM and if you're looking to rent a GPU on very affordable price, you can find the link to mass compute in video's description with a discount coupon code of 50% for range of GPUs. So first up, let's git clone the repo of this tool and I will drop the link in video's description. Okay, so I just need to get into it. I cd command failed because I think it just uh, downloaded it with some other name. And now I have cd into it. So if I clear the screen and show you the content, it's very lightweight. All you need to do is to go into this and run this index.html. You can run it from terminal or simple enough. You can just simply go to wherever you have installed this and then click on index.html. And this is the whole tool in front of you. Let me make it a bit bigger. Don't worry about the uh, aesthetics of it. I think more importantly, it is quite uh, useful. So. You see, this is the model at the moment. And then, you know, you can also select your local file, which I will also show you shortly. It is going to specify, okay, you know what, this is my context window, you can increase it. And of course, the more you have, the more VRAM it takes. And then from there, you can simply even go with Verbos too. So I have just clicked on read URL. It has read that, and it has given you all the results around the model that this is a model and this is the total required um, MB, you know, memory you would need. And this is more information. How good is that? Okay, but now let's unpack it in a bit more detail. So if you look here, uh, let's start with attention head. Attention head is one parallel view that searches for relationship between tokens. So here the model has 32 such views in each layer to capture different patterns at the same time. Then the KV head is 32. It means that uh, these are the separate key value streams whose states are saved for reuse. And we have 32 KV head. So each attention head has its own KV stream, which is simple, but uses more memory. 
hidden laser 48 which is one transformer block in the stack and our model has 48 blocks so computation and kv memory scales linearly with this depth hidden size is 2048 this is a width of models internal vectors per token and each token is represented by uh, around 2048 numbers which drives both compute and kv size model size is around 17.7 .7 gb kv cache is taking around 1.6 gb and total required is around 19.3 gb so this is a estimated runtime memory we might need right now which you know uh, which primarily is weights plus kv cache so weight is 17.7 .7, kv cache is 1.6 total is 19.3 somewhere around that and there might be some other framework overhead too so if you see the quantization which it is using is um, this is a precision which is used to store the kv cache and if we use int 8 that would roughly have the cache to 0.8 gb and int 4 would even lower like 0.4 gb while the 17.7 .7 gb weight size would remain unchanged so that is what it is and if you look at this context size and uh, this determine how many tokens the model keep in memory and kv precision determine how many bytes each saved value consumes and together both of these controls why the kv cache comes out to about 1.6 gp you can increase it your kv cache would increase your memory requirement will increase so let's now select a model from my local system i hope i have one in my my model directory it's a coin 38 billion and then i'm just going to say read file and it has now this new one has around 11.1 .1 gp requirement and rest of it as i described so with our configuration you can we, with this one we can expect to have around 11.1 .1 gp to run this model if you want to fit this in a smaller hardware you can reduce this context size to like 1k and then maybe even you can just go to int it and read the file you see it has come down to 9 gp now so hopefully not only you understand what this tool is how this works but also all the concepts behind it i hope this was enjoyable let me know what you think please like the video and subscribe and consider becoming a member as that is something which helps a lot uh, for the channel and all you need to do is to just go to the home page of channel click on the membership tab it's not there because you would have to sign in and then just sign up as a member it just cost around five dollar a month but it helps the channel a lot thank you for all the support as always very very appreciative thanks